Hi guys, welcome back to the Warrior's Journey Tarot. Excuse my tired voice. It's the daily reading for Monday. Come on. Monday, June 3rd. It's 7.07 or something. 7 something in the morning. All right. Let's see what we have for today. <clears throat> Spirit guides, can we please get a reading for Monday, June 3rd, for whoever needs to hear it. <clears throat> Apple cards from the Lightseer's Tarot, and then some Love Oracle cards. Maybe one Spirit card. Spirit guides, what do we have for Monday, June 3rd? I'm going to have a grape. Hold on a sec. Spirit guides, saints, ascended masters, dakinis, angels, archangels, ancestors, Spirit team, can we please get a reading for whoever needs to hear this today? For Monday, June 3rd. Thank you. Knight of Pentacles. Six of Wands. Well, ooh, great cards. So the Knight of Pentacles, it could be a... a Virgo or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn earth sign doesn't have to be or it could be just anybody who's in the energy of Now again, I read for love These readings are for love, but I could see it in a different way now if this is work related just because it could be it's showing that there's major um, progress and some kind of recognition at work with a level up or a raise or um some kind of achievement, accomplishment, because the Six of Wands is, is victory and a level up, beating out the competitors. Now, if it's in love and romance, it's going after what you want, knowing what you want, knowing the Knight of Pentacles is somebody who, out of all the Knights, is supposed to be the most responsible, um, the most focused, who has the best judgment in terms of in love and romance, finding the most sustainable choice. Sorry, one second. <clears throat> Now, while that can sound boring, it's not really. They, they make a really good choice in their love life. To f They know what they want. Okay, They're looking for their queen to build their kingdom with. And there's some kind of sense of, like, they feel like it's going to be a sight to see with a Six of Wands. Because Six of Wands also stands for popularity and people cheering and, you know, kind of like this couple goals card where everybody looks up to you and, and they have this feeling like they wish they could find some something someone like what you guys have like that kind of thing so all of that energy is there and underneath we've got the wheel of fortune it's, it's very um good luck it's it speaks to good things coming in it also speaks to change and maybe even in love and romance somebody from your past coming back ace of cups self-love She's holding it at her heart chakra, wanting, loving yourself, being able to love someone else, wanting to offer love to someone else. Because look at how it's coming out. And this is the card, Nine of Pentacles of Independence, the single person. And there's the bird of spirit saying, now you're ready for more. Just like that Knight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. They're both ready to build. Take the leap right here with a fool. Take the leap of faith. Six of Cups, again, someone from your past. This is nostalgic feelings. Queen of Wands could be an Aries Leo Sag or somebody who's quite like outgoing and so on. Attractive, bold, charming. What else do we have? What else do we have for <clears throat> Monday, June 3rd, please? In Love and Romance, what else do we have? Thank you. Knight of Swords and High Priestess. Ooh. 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 Fell on the Six of Wands, but it doesn't matter. We'll just go... Knight of Swords is... Look at the determination of the two knights. My goodness. Going after what they want. Devil. Could be Capricorn. We got a lot of Earth energy here. Um, Four of Wands. Marriage. This is rites of passage. Gatherings. Weddings. Graduations. Leaving something that's unfulfilling behind. 
Empress birthing something new again, creating something new. The Queen of Wands healing again. On the, look at Ace of Cups again. All of those again. Okay, Knight of Swords has a plan. Knight of Pentacles has a vision and the hard work and determination to pull it off. Knight of Swords has the plan, has the focus, the determination to go after what they want. And it's so fast moving. So however slow the Knight of Pentacles is, once they figure out what they want, what I don't know, man. Is this the two knights? Is this two different people or is this the same person? I feel like it's the same person. but Okay, so the Knight of Swords is going after what they want quickly. The Knight of Pentacles made up their mind. The High Priestess is saying they're trusting their intuition. Okay, unless they're going after somebody who's the high priestess energy, somebody who's very intuitive, psychic, could be Virgo energy, or somebody who's just very spiritual, or there's somebody who's keeping things secret, how they feel they're keeping it secret, or is it, okay, you can read it that way, or if it's the Knight of Swords going after what they want with the high priestess, either way it works, okay, there's secrecy here with the high priestess. Keeping your feelings to yourself like a secret admirer kind of energy or finally being able to reveal how you feel because the high priestess is the keeper of secrets. And so she's the one who it says, use your intuition. You already know the answer to what you're asking. If you're asking a question right now while you're watching this, the high priestess says, trust your intuition. And then you got the devil clarifying this. I've been... A little bit warm. I've been warming up to the devil card in love and romance. And I'll tell you why. It's because it's kind of romantic in love. Okay. It, it shows an obsession and a determination. And like, I'm going to just like love you forever. No matter what. I don't care what you say. I don't care if you break up with me. I don't care whatever happens. I'm just going to love you forever. And yeah, that's, it's creepy if they're, if they're not attractive. <laughs> I don't like them. But, you know, otherwise, it can be quite romantic, right? So the devil card here is showing great attachment. There's a lot of ego energy, though, with the knight of swords and the devil as well. Right? Like, yeah, there's a lot of ego with six of wands, too. So there is this energy of, I deserve the best, I'm going to go after what's the best and I'm going to get the best because I am the best kind of vibe. Okay. Just because of all the, the ego here. All right. What do we have? What else do we have? What else do we have? What else do we, Ooh, okay. Two of wands. There could be distance. But, because, you know, Two of Wands is showing that wherever you're at, the now it could be the person dealing with you, or it could be you. It, it, they want more, or you want more, or you both want more. Okay, somebody here wants more. Their, their life is wherever it is with the Ace of Wands. They've, they're in their house. They're looking out the window, right? There's always this interest and curiosity about what else is out there. And so the Two of Wands is showing interest in someone someone more than where they're at okay and with the globe and this like little volkswagen kind of what was this called called the i forget what this car is called and a surfboard or whatever it's showing this like adventure this thirst for adventure okay like wanting to go out there and see what else is out there so there is this feeling too this person whoever this person is is wanting to have an adventure is wanting to you know See what becomes of this. Oh my God, Ten of Pentacles. That's commitment. That's, that's, Ten of Pentacles is children, grandchildren, dogs, the house, like building. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Chariot. Remember we saw the Six of Pentacles before, Six of Cups before. 
Now, in Three of Pentacles and other tarot decks, I say this all the time, it's like a third-party situation type of energy card for me. But in this deck, Chris Ann Donnelly, of the, who made this tarot, the Light Seer's Tarot, look, Wheel of Fortune, jeez. Who made this de deck, she purposely made it like where it's a mother, a child, and this man over here, who I am assuming is the father. But with this deck, I always get the this vibe of like a blended family. Like it's not the it's not the dad. Just look at him. He's looking like he's new. It doesn't look like he's he's a dad. Because if he was a dad, he'd be more comfortable and tired in the picture. Okay. Like that Ten of Pentacles. You see, he he looks a little bit like fatigued. This guy looks like I'm just excited to be here. Like this is all new, right? Anyways. Um so this is like building something together, okay? And then the Six of Cups is somebody from your past. Again, nostalgia gives you warm and fuzzy feelings. You met them before. Page of Pentacles is showing this news or offer coming in, okay? And again, Chariot 2, same thing. Could indicate travel or someone coming to see you or you going to see them. Like, And Page of Pentacles is like a, a real gift. I don't know if it's a song, chocolates, flowers, a ticket, whatever. There's something really, a jewelry, ring, whatever, something being offered. Now that the Wheel of Fortune, again, someone from your past coming back, whatever, the end of a toxic, the end of something else, okay? Look, again, page of cups, a sincere, heartfelt memory, like a, a message coming through, right? Like, Death, rebirth, tr huge transformation, knight of wands, going after what you love, what you're passionate about, king of cups, it's deeply spiritual, a healer type, very loving, self-love too, king of wands and king of cups, passion and love, page of swords watching, hierophant, oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to pull some oracle cards. All right, this is Romance Angels. Spirit Guides, can we please get some love oracle messages for Monday, June 3rd, please? Thank you so much for Monday, June 3rd. Thank you. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Oh, she's in a wedding dress. Look, and they're helping her get ready. That's cute. That's cute. Let your friends help you. Make the effort. How I told you. This, these little kids, when, when they show the little kids, great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. It's showing this very sweet, charming, like, shy energy. It's so cute. Children, too. Children are affecting your love life. Children are affecting your love life. I told you. Someone's got kids. Blended family. Passion was there too. Any other messages, please, Spirit Guides, for Monday, June 3rd? Any other messages? Any other messages? Thank you. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. You need to have a talk and honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So there's some kind of red flags here with this card. It's saying that this usually implies you're dating somebody younger. Because it speaks to watch how they treat you and how they treat other people who do who can't do anything for them or who are, who are not like you. Meaning they'll say the valet, the chauffeur, the whatever, which in indicates that somebody here has some kind of clout or um, wealth or abundance because the other person is kind of immature and not humble and egoic and, and has a little bit like... Uh, a super, superficial, a little bit, uh, I don't know what's the word. <sighs> Classless, I don't know, whatever the word is. I, I can't think of something nicer to say bad behavior. Okay, so maybe you have a discussion with them about this, and it's just saying that it, it is fixable if you would, if, if whatever, okay? So red flags. And any other messages? Oh. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, and very soon, clearly decide what you want. So that it comes to now. You have a choice too. It's a new love and an old love, or it's an old love that's come back. However that works out. 
I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to keep going. This is Whispers of Love by Angela Hartfield. Spirit guides, any other message? Thank you. New love again. Embrace this new opportunity of love that is here. This may pertain to work opportunities or spiritual growth. Again, new love. You got new love twice. Let's move this over. Look at this cute little girl over here. New love, new love. Physical touch is important. For some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. Physical touch is important. Let's see if there's any other messages. So for some of you, you've been single for a while. Focus on love. Look for the good attributes in each and every person in your life. Okay. Sorry. Like attracts like. If you're longing for more love in your life, you need to be more loving. Okay, true love is underneath there. So light law of attraction. I love this card. She's so cute. Playing with a doll that looks just like her. Who's playing with a doll that looks just like her? And actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. And then we've got honesty is essential to be a loving person it's important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner again this is the wearing masks and not saying how you truly feel and you know i told you there's high priestess energy keeping feelings a secret not letting them know and then you know opportunities just get missed all right let's pick a daily crystal inspiration card any, ins any, any inspiration, any card, please, any crystal for us to work with today. Whoever needs to hear this, thank you. Sorry. Angel or quartz, lighten up. That's so sweet. Little kids love this crystal. Pyrite, let the money flow in. I told you. Pay attention to the red flag says. That's the vibe. I will read angel or quartz just a little bit. Lighten up. Just because uh, I don't remember. Pyrite is just straight up like people wear pyrite to a attract wealth, abundance. It's called fool's gold, but still it's super lucky for that. A Angel or a quartz. Yes, it's okay to lighten up. Life is serious enough. A little levity always adds perspective. Make time for things that make you smile and laugh amidst all of life's responsibilities. Give yourself permission to prioritize fun. You deserve it. Embrace the childlike curiosity and excitement that you have within you. Be silly. Tap into your carefree, lighthearted nature. You know what they say about all work and no play. Stay connected with your innate playfulness so that when it's time for you to work, you can show up as the best version of yourself. Core questions, what does fun look like for you? What makes you smile? When was the last time you laughed so hard that you cried? Crystal action, affirm, I allow myself to have fun today. Find a reason to laugh and let loose. Tell a joke, watch a funny show, or share a funny picture with a loved one. Then we'll move to pyrite. Pyrite. All right, we've got a financial breakthrough is on its way. You have the power to create the wealth you desire. Put in the time and energy needed to pursue your financial goals. Hard work pays off. Be a money magnet and call prosperity into your life in all its forms. Money and fortune don't always appear in the way you would expect, so keep your eyes open for all the financial opportunities that present themselves to you. You are on the right track. Keep working, keep moving, keep going, and you will reap the rewards. Core questions. What are your financial goals? What is your definition of success? If you had all all the money that you could ever want, what would you do with it? Crystal action. Affirm. Financial prosperity surrounds me. Today, keep working toward your goals, knowing your effort will pay off. Awesome. All right. I'm going to end this with... No, I'm not going to end it with this. This is the second last. Then it's going to be African Goddess Rising with Abula Abrams, as per usual. This is the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. By Amanda Lovelace. Only because when I was putting these cards away, this one of the cards flipped out. So I'm just going to take that. Let's see, Spirit Guides, what do we have for today? For whoever needs to hear this. Thank you. See, it just came out right there on my lap. Sorry, I'm holding it upside down. Uh-oh. Because we got storm. Every hurricane comes to an end. And we got bitch fire. 
Somebody's trying to ruin your reputation. They can't. It's not going to work. They're talking shit. But saying it's not one of those times where you just sit back and let it happen. You have to speak up. Evil queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. What the? I feel like this is for somebody else. <clears throat> but let's read it. 44. Every hurricane comes to an end. Just when you thought things were taking a turn for the better, in came a hurricane of hurt. Now you find yourself utterly exhausted from trying to survive it all. Rest assured, the clouds are finally starting to part, making room for the much-needed sun. Like the clouds, you should also let go of past or present pain in order to make room for something better. And then 16... Stand up for yourself. There's no better way to say it. Someone in your life is trying to burn you at the stake. Maybe you didn't give them something they wanted or you didn't let them get away with their bad behavior. Either way, they're trying to ruin your reputation. Rest assured, your reputation will stay intact. Silence can be effective, but this is not that kind of situation. Get loud and let them have a taste of your bitch fire. All right, let's finish this with Abiola Abrams. Why did I put them? Why did I put them on a pedestal? Why did it? They're not even... That's so weird. This is what happens when you're trying to do a reading at 7 in the morning. Oh, my. Okay. Last card. Beautiful goddesses. Can we please get a card for spiritual guidance for today, Monday, June 3rd? It's a love and romance reading, but whatever you see fit. However you see it working out best for whoever needs to hear it spirit guides can we please get a reading goddesses can we please get a card for whoever needs to hear it thank you satira brazen i love this card dress how you want act how you want do what you want live out loud spirit wants you to live out loud be sexy be brazen be shameless someone's talking shit right with the bitch fire, they're trying to ruin your reputation. Oh, look at her. Look at what she's dressing like. Look what she's doing now. Look how she's not settling down. Look how she's dating this and that. All that kind of shit, right? And so Satira Brazen's like, oh, are you jealous? Let me do a double down and do it even harder. Okay, so Gang Gang Sarah is on the bottom resistance, which is going to take one, okay? But you can look that up if you want to. She's uh, in this deck. This is Oshun. Abiola Abrams is the creator. I was looking into her uh, channel just out of nowhere now. Because uh, sometimes I don't like to look at the creators because I like the deck, but sometimes I, I vibe with the spirit guide who inspired the deck or the spirit guides and not the person. Sometimes that can be disappointing. She's not. She's amazing. Anyways, African Goddess Rising. 17. Satira. Um, goddess of brazenness from Guyana, temple warriors, element fire. Goddess Satira is the energy and spirit of Buxton in Guyana, South America. Satira is brave, bold, brazen, and barefaced, casting a spell with her hips. Satira's guidance, step up, go for it, partner with the divine to make brazen choices, and everything meant to diminish you will elevate you. You see, bitch fire, storm. All who mean you harm fall away. Your hurdles are illusions because you are plugged into the source. Embodiment. Make the brazen decision. What would you dare to do if you knew you couldn't fail? It is brazen to be unapologetically you. It is brazen to speak up for someone not in the room. It is brazen to choose a different spiritual path or career than your community. It is brazen to build your family your way. God, goddess, force, energy is brazen. Goddess declaration. I am bold brave shameless and brazen i freaking love this deck i couldn't recommend it more for people who read tarot or whatever this the energy is so good and your life takes positive turns and and, and it brings positivity and and good changes into your life when you get this deck you feel higher energy it's just it's a fantastic deck all right um that's it that's your reading for monday june 3rd thanks for watching have a wonderful day talk to you guys later